In this video, we are going to cover the group by clause. As in the previous videos, we noticed like the group functions were evaluating a single value per table. Means it was considering the whole table as a single group and was returning a single value for that. But if I want to split that bigger group into some smaller ones logically. For example, I have the employees table having hundreds of records. But if I want to split all the records or this particular group into smaller ones on the base of the job ID or on the base of the department ID means I want to make a group of a single department and all the employees will be evaluated simply. Similarly, department 10, department 20, department 30, I want to make a small groups from this employees table. That can be done by using this uh, group by clause. Here, I will specify the name of the column on the basis of which I want to create a group. And after that, if from the output you want to filter the group, you can use the having clause. As we have already used the where clause which is used to filter the rows but here for filtering the group we will use the having clause. So let's find out how can we work with the group by and having clause practically. As in the previous video we have already have a look on these uh, group functions where I told you like it will be considering the complete table as a single group. Now, using the group by, I can actually break it down into the smaller groups. Let's say for example, since this is the employees table and here I want to categorize the each employee in a different, as a different departments. So I want to make smaller groups on the base of the department means all the employees working in department 10 is a single group for department 20 there is another and so on. So for that what I'll do is in this particular statement I will add one more line that is group by department ID. You can use any column in this group by clause but make sure you are using such column where you can create a group. For example if you will say group by first name it will not be a good idea to create the groups on the base of the name of the employees as it will not be that logical. So here I have chosen department ID as a column because you can make the group as per the department means there are number of employees would be working in a single department. So when I will say group by department ID here you can see like different salaries are there. But if you will add them up you will definitely get the same amount means this same amount is classified on the base of different departments and if you want to see the departments as well you can simply add the department ID in the select statement as well so that you will have a look on that particular column as well so here you can see like department 10 30 null there is a one employee who's uh, who's not in any particular department there is null and rest of the departments are there. If you want, you can also go for the order by clause. All right, let me add the previous one. Sa some salary, department ID, group by department ID, order by two. When I say order by two, that means the second column in the list. So here, department 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 along with their respective departments. Similarly, you can also do the grouping on the basis of multiple columns. For example, if in the same, uh, uh, in the same query I will add one more uh, column like job ID. So now it will be on the base of the job IDs as well, department ID and job ID both. So here in the select uh, group by statement, I will pass first of all department ID and then after the group uh, job ID because the sequence actually matters here. Because whenever you will say group by comma job uh, department ID comma job ID, that means first of all it will consider the department and then the job IDs under that particular department. So here again I'll say order by 2 comma 3. So now here you can see it is being more classified. For example, department 10 is having a single job ID that is AD assistant. So that is 4400. You will get the same amount here as well. Department 10, 4400, right? 
Now, in the next one, you can see the total of department 20 was 19,000. But how this 19,000 is being classified? Inside department 30, you can observe there are two different job IDs. MK, that is marketing manager, marketing representative. All right. And here for marketing manager, all the employees working in marketing manager, it's the total amount is 13,000. For all the employees working in marketing as a marketing representative, the total is 6000 if you will add 6 13 plus 6 it will be 19 so it's all about like how you want to classify and how you want to elaborate your grouping so similarly in the department 30 again there is pu clerk pu man man means manager all right so that is the total amount for the clerk that is the total amount for the manager and similarly you can find in many more cases so uh, this is all about the grouping means how you want to categorize the groups in your select statement using the group by statement. Now let's come back to this one like where I have used only a single column for the group by. If I want to filter the groups for example I want to get only those records in the output where the total of the sum total sum of a particular department is more than 50,000. So for that I will not use where clause as where clause is used to filter the rows only. But whenever I want to filter the particular group I will use the order uh, having clause. So here for the having clause what I'll do let's go for a single column uh, yeah some salary and department ID group by department ID having some salary is greater than or equal to 50,000 and again if you want you can use order by 2 all right so here you can observe like in the output you are getting only those records who only those groups I should say who are earning whose total salary is more than 50,000 basically you cannot use any group function in the where clause uh, the reason is like grouping is done after the where clause means by the time where clause was executing at that time the grouping is not done that is why you will not be able to use any group function in the where clause and here for putting the group function in the condition I will use having clause where having will be used in order to filter the groups